Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, That Model Railway Guy, and welcome to another video review. And as you can see today, we're taking a look at another brand new Hornby Loco, and it is the Peckett B2 in the really quite nice NCB blue livery. And it, yeah, as I said, it looks quite nice on the box, but it looks even better in real life. And there you go, you can see just how lovely it looks. So obviously this is the second type of Peckett Loco that Hornby have made, uh, the first being the W4, which they did a few years ago. That was an 040. This is slightly larger, it's an 060. But yeah, a really lovely Loco, so let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I really have to mention with this Loco is the sheer weight of it. Um, as you may know, the smaller 040 Peckett was mainly made out of metal, and that is definitely the case here. Uh, and because it's a slightly bigger Loco as well, it means there's more metal, which means there's more weight, which is great. But yeah, it's really great to see that once again Hornby have made most of the model out of die-cast metal. I think having done it previously for the W4, they were kind of expected to do it again for the B2, and uh, I'm very glad they did because it feels like a well-built, sturdy model in your hands. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. The buffers are not sprung, I'll just demonstrate that now with my screwdriver. Um, as you can see, they are not sprung, but they are made out of metal, which is nice. Um, but another thing as well is that the safety valves here are made of metal. And also this whistle on top of the cab is also made of metal, which is great because I know that one of the main criticisms that people had of the previous packet was that the plastic whistle on top of the cab on that one was so flimsy and so delicate that it actually broke off on a lot of people's models. So it's good to see that Hornby have taken that into account. They've actually listened to what people have had to say about it and they've made an improvement based on that. So yeah, that's really great to see. Moving on to the livery then, and yeah, I really do like this blue colour. Uh, it's also got this really lovely white lining all the way around, which has a little black stripe in it as well. Uh, there's also a little builder's plate on the cab as well, which is lovely to see. And of course you've got these steps here, which have got the wasp stripes on. Which of course is a nice little reminder that this is an industrial loco, just in case by some chance you've managed to miss the big NCB lettering that's on the cab there. So, Which is also really nicely done as well. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the livery. Uh, let's take a look at the cab then. And it might be a little bit difficult for you to see inside here, but it is a really nice cab actually, uh, especially considering it's so enclosed. There's a lot of detail in there. The windows do just have one piece of plastic that covers both windows in a single strip. That goes for the front and also the back. If I'm being honest, most of the time when I'm looking inside the cab, I'm not looking at the windows. I'm looking at the detail inside there, which I have to say is really nicely picked out and painted and everything. And, and yeah, just really, really nice for such an enclosed cab. So before we finish up, let's just have a look at the front of the Loco, and as you can see, it's once again done really, really well. Got that classic Peckett face, which the W4 had as well, so that's really great to see. Okay, so let's have a look at it running on the rolling road then, and uh, we'll just start it off at a very, very low level. Here we go. Uh, and as you can see, uh, yeah, it, it does a crawl really, really well. Uh, that's going forwards. So let's just turn it up a little bit, and, and okay, it jumps into life a little bit. Um, and we'll just whack it all the way up as far as it will go. And as you can tell, the vast majority of that noise coming from it is just the wheels going around, it's not motor noise at all. And uh, yeah, that's really, really nice. Let's bring it back down again. And uh, we'll just try it in reverse, shall we? Um, so I just flipped it into reverse. And yeah, once again, it's doing that really nice crawl. Uh, and it's sort of, again, it, yeah, it sort of jumps into life a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's just turn this up again. And again, we'll see that it's really, really quite nice and smooth. And then we'll bring it back down as well. So yeah, I think all that's left to do now is to get this onto the layout and uh, we'll get it hooked up to some wagons and we'll let it do some shunting on Pickwick Yard.
So here is the B2 Peckett happily shunting around Pickwick Yard, and in my opinion, this is a really good looking model. After the success of the 040 Peckett, I'm not surprised Hornby wanted to do something similar, and I think they've done a pretty good job of it. I will say that in my experience, the B2 seems to be more susceptible to cutting out than the W4, which is odd, because it's got an extra set of wheels that are picking up. That said, it only really seems to affect it at a moderate shunting speed, so if you go a bit faster, it's usually fine, but then if you're running your locos like me at a more realistic speed, then that might be something to keep in mind. It's not terrible, but I certainly don't feel as confident in this loco at slow speeds as I do with the original packet, or say something like the Rustin in fact. But other than that, it's a really nice loco that runs well, and it's great to see that Hornby are continuing to release these small industrial locos, and doing a good job of it too. Maybe in the future I'll have to do a comparison video between this and the W4, so do let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see, or if you have any other ideas for videos that you'd like me to make. In the meantime though, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications from me. That's all for now though, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!